Hi everyone, it's me, Planetary Ecologist. Today we are having an interesting video, pet bottle recycling. To be more precise, recycling pet flakes into pet sheet. This project is interesting because we started it from scratch. We got the equipment. Firstly, it was disassembled. Secondly, it looked more like scrap metal than a pet sheet production line. We made a complete installation and modernization of the equipment by ourselves. First of all, we rented a production site, about 300 square meters, brought the equipment and started to build a fence to prevent people from entering. We worked day and night because we wanted to launch our project as soon as possible. We set up the whole line in a technological chain to understand the sequence of the process. After that, we made equipment diagnostics to find out which one works and which one needs to be repaired. On the next stage, we had to find out what we should do to finish the process, to find the details for our equipment and so on. For example, a cutting table, drying platforms for filling crushed flakes into dryers, assembling the racks for storing finished raw materials, and the main thing, creating an absolutely new modern extrusion control system and installation of an economical electric drive. Here you can see that we've got empty closets and we've started to fill them with electronics. Everything was done by ourselves using our knowledge and skills. As a result, we have the newest electronics on our old extruder. The next stage is production of the plinth for the electric engine and connection it with the reduction gear. This is checking of the electric gear. Earlier we had an engine with voltage 200 kW DC. Now it's an engine with voltage 132 kW DC with frequentist adjustment. Here is an example for you to understand how much 132 kW is. It's an approximate consumption of a five-story house in summer. The engine weight is 1.100 tons, like a car. Here is a stage of equipment cleaning, removing old paint, primer coating and painting, so our equipment looks like a new one. It's a pleasure to work with a good-looking equipment. We almost finished painting the third reduction gear in the dryers and ready for painting the fourth one. After that we start to paint dryers. The first one is ready, here is the second one. We painted extruder blue, we also painted electric engine, pulling device, calendars and brought raw materials for production. We are experimenting how the raw material will be supplied by stacker. We installed racks for raw and other materials, painted crusher. Here you can see what an extruder looks like with the control system and the line when it's complete. We are preparing to install air and water cooling system. Everything is ready for launching the production. We are going to install more racks and raw materials because we need a lot of racks and raw materials for this production. So we started the production of pet sheet.
These two guys are dryers. They are drying bed material over there. Trial rolling of bed sheet is proceeding well. Here you can see how we produce carbon fiber. Can you imagine what will happen if you drop your phone there? Now we are adding nanoparticles in the bed sheet. 200 grams, 100 grams, so we are adding it less and less. As a result, we have a sheet with different physical characteristics. The color is really nice, it's emerald. The camera doesn't transmit it very well. Here is a sheet with carbon fiber. It's quite a dark. The carbon fiber reinforced sheet we produced to make it tough and elastic. It was an interesting experiment because we get its features as a result. Later we'll probably try to make a sheet electrically conductive. Maybe we'll try to confer another features. So it was an interesting experiment for us. The thing is that this sheet is almost not succumb to electroforming as soon as microfibers don't let the sheet stretch. As a result, we've got a one and a half meter sheet. It can handle almost 300 kilograms per square meter. The width is 1.5 meters. The length could be any, three, five, six. It also can be rolled. The light transmission is about 85%. It can be higher, but it depends on the quality of raw material. The sheet can be used as an alternative to polycarbonate in the production of canopies, awnings. Also, it can be used for industrial lightning of the buildings. Greenhouses can be built using these sheets. The main difference between carbon fiber and polycarbonate is its lifetime. 
bed sheet can be used during 10 years. If we include ultraviolet additives, the lifetime can be approximately 18 years. You can find a lot of new and interesting information not only on my channel, but also in social networks. то примерно 18 лет.